White supremacy has hijacked the national narrative of the United States. In fact, the same could be said for all of North and South America and Europe. In fact, this misrepresentation of our past distorts what we can do in the future. I ask you to rethink what it means to be human, what it means to be a citizen, what it means to be a person in the shadow of these distortions. Beginning in 1988, I've asked this question as a professor at the University of Pennsylvania, as a television host on PBS, as a curator of exhibitions and galleries, and as a documentary filmmaker. I do this work to critically engage national narratives. The current broad-based support against anti-black police terror and the daily insults of white supremacist narratives in museums, monuments, and institutions is un precedented. This is the organic conversation by the people for the people. Neither Presidents Clinton, Bush, Obama, or Trump could lead this conversation. The removal of monuments that glorify enslavement and colonization and the calls for the decolonization of institutions like museums, universities, and police are steps in the right direction. What we need to do is ask ourselves, what am I doing to change this narrative of white supremacy? And how am I supporting the efforts against racism and other forms of marginalization that prevent us from being human.